The Tesla Cybertruck may look like an alien spaceship, but it has the capabilities to challenge all of the top-selling pickup trucks. With a sharp-edged exterior that is made of scratch and dent-resistant stainless steel, the Cybertruck will be available in three different configurations, which are all based on the number of electric motors each has. While all-wheel drive is standard on all but the single-motor version, each additional motor means quicker acceleration, longer driving range, and greater towing capacity. Tesla is expanding its lineup to include one of the most popular pickup truck. With seriously impressive stats for both an EV and a pickup, the Cybertruck gives the company a potentially strong seller given how well trucks sell in this country. However, it has to compete with American brands like Ford, Chevy and GMC, where they all also plan on going towards EV trucks. Range, Charging, and Battery Life Tesla didn't reveal the size of the batteries that will power its electrified pickup. However, every model will have a 250 kW charging cable. Of course, it will also have access to Tesla's vast network of superchargers. Its driving range varies with the number of motors, but Tesla claims the single motor has a range of 250 plus miles, the dual motors boast 300 plus miles of range, and the top-tier trimotor setup should provide more than 500 miles on a single charge. Towing and payload capacity. If the Cybertruck can really tow as much as Tesla claims, it will have a higher maximum rating than popular alternatives such as the Ram 1500. While the single and dual motor Teslas have a maximum tow rating of 7,500 and 10,000 pounds, respectively, models with a third motor will be able to pull a whopping 14,000 pounds. Every Cybertruck can also haul 3,500 pounds in its 6.5 foot cargo bed. EV motor, power, and performance. The Cybertruck is available with not just one, not just two, but three electric motors. While the single-motor truck has rear-wheel drive, the two- and three-motor models have all-wheel drive. Tesla claims it'll go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and top out at 110 miles per hour. The dual-motor Cybertruck will reportedly reach 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 ticks and have a top speed of 120 miles per hour. Those looking for the ultimate performance will appreciate the three-motor model, which Tesla says will essentially teleport from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds, with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. All Cybertrucks have an adjustable air suspension that can be raised or lowered on the fly and provides up to 16 inches of ground clearance. Add that to its 35-degree approach and 28-degree departure angles and the Tesla pickup could prove to be a formidable off-road machine. Interior comfort, and cargo. Those who thought the Tesla Model 3 interior was minimalistic will relive that reaction when they see the Cybertruck's Spartan cabin. While many standard features and options haven't been disclosed, the first images show a slab-like dashboard that is solely dominated by one large touchscreen. Its squared-off steering wheel looks to have some sort of illuminated display, but nothing has been confirmed. The Cybertruck will also be able to seat up to six people, and its 6.4-foot cargo bed offers 100 cubic feet of volume. It also has a nifty slide-out tailgate that doubles as a ramp to load four-wheelers and motorcycles. Warranty and Maintenance Coverage Tesla provides a comprehensive warranty on its current models, however, it doesn't include any complementary maintenance. Limited warranty covers 4 years or 50,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 8 years, regardless of miles. No complimentary scheduled maintenance.
Doesn't look like anything else. So we'll start off with the size, the dimensions, and the inspiration. So the, the functionality I'm going to describe is within a space that is less than the most po popular pickup truck in the United States, the F-150. So we didn't cheat in either width, height, or length. And we're able to achieve much greater capability in the same, same dimensions, same weight. Yeah. The, part of this is, is, is the, the fundamental design change. Uh, we're, we moved the mass to the outside. We created an exoskeleton. So normally, the way that a truck is designed, you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame, and the, the, the body and the bed don't do anything useful. They're, they're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. It, it was the way that aircraft used to be designed, the, it, when they had biplanes, basically. The, the key to creating an effective monoplane was a stressed skin design. You, you move the stress to the outside skin. It allows you to do things that you can't do with a body on frame. So we're able to make the, the skin out of uh, thick, ultra-hard stainless steel. It's really hard. <laughs> we're gonna show you just how hard. So, Franz, Franz has a sledgehammer. Uh, yeah, don't hold back. Okay. Yeah. It's a regular truck door. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit it a couple times. You wanna hit it again? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Now I hit the cyber truck. Same thing. Hit it, hit it harder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wind, I really wind up and nail it. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, pretty nice. strong. Very strong. <laughs> so if you think about a, like a truck, you want to, you want a truck that's tough. You want a truck that's really tough, not fake tough. <laughs> you want a truck that can take a sledgehammer too. A truck that won't scratch, doesn't dent. What else can we do with this truck? What if we? What if we shot it? Let's 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 shoot it. Guy, OSHA. I mean, come on. <laughs> so the that, that's a nine millimeter bullet shot at the door. Shoot <laughs> it. We're in California, unfortunately. <laughs> but the nine millimeter, it's, it, is, it is literally bulletproof to a nine millimeter uh, handgun. That's how strong the skin is. So it's, it's, it's ultra hard, cold rolled, uh, stainless steel alloy that we've developed. We're gonna be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. So on the, on the right, that's like, normal tr truck doors are like, might as well be made of tissue paper. 
That, that's the, the, it looks like a paintball. Very different. So, you know, when you say something's built tough, that's what we mean. <laughs> what, what about the glass? Seems like a vulnerability. <laughs> yeah. Tra transparent metal glass. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's, 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 let's show some of the tests. Let's, uh, what can we do with this? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's show the glass demo. There you go. So first, first, this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. We want to show you what happens with normal car glass. Shatters immediately with a, with a little ball. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. Nothing. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's kind of a small ball, though. Let's, let's, let's maybe like do it at a bigger height. With a, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's still, still there. I guess. Yeah, not bad. A bigger ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Franz, could you try to break this glass, please? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Uh, be capable of uh, more than oh 150 kilowatts. We'll reveal the actual number later. Uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. So you don't need a generator. Yeah. The, the, the truck literally is your generator. Um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. So you have an, a, a, yeah. yeah. You need an onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Yeah. So the are three versions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click like on the video.